Hi everyone, my name is Anna Anders, humbly sitting at home here tonight. I just finished my dinner. It's about, what time is it here? Let's see. It's 10.10. So I'm going to say about what, Carrie, 20 minutes ago? About tw 20 minutes ago, I was up in my supply room, my activist room, if you will, and I was finishing doing some things, and I come downstairs for dinner here, okay? So now watch this. I come downstairs for dinner, but before I even come downstairs for dinner, what I want to say is I was upstairs in my supply room and I heard a noise. Didn't I hear a noise? So, Rosanna Preston, what noise did you hear? Speak up, please. Gun. I can't hear you. What did you hear? Gunshot. A gunshot. And she heard a gunshot downstairs here as she was getting ready to be served dinner. And I was up in my supply room, and I heard the gunshot as loud as could be, right out back my my backyard. So we both heard it. Carrie was in the kitchen cooking dinner for us, preparing dinner, because I'm up there trying to do some things. But I got to tell you, I must have struck a nerve on my social media tonight, huh? Because this reminds me of, um, oh, trust me, people, this is not the first time I've ever heard guns fired, Okay. When my cousin's daughter was abducted, Gina to Jesus, the night Gina was taken and it was on the news, they were firing guns out back my place that I was living at at the time, which was transitional housing in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. They were firing off guns directly behind my place. And that was exactly the same time I was trying to make some peace flags in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. Is that not true, Carrie? Yeah. Yeah. So that, you know, so what I want to say is this. At that time when those guns got fired, I didn't connect the dots. I wasn't, I wasn't connecting those dots with uh, Gina's abduction. But I got to tell you, I got to tell you today, I believe that those gun fires were directly linked as a form of intimidation uh, with the whole cover-up case of Gina's abduction. Um, because I, all the years that I ever lived at transitional housing, I never heard of gunfire. Okay, over there. And I, I've lived there a couple times. Okay, folks. So, but tonight, very clearly and very distinctly, I heard gunfire outside our backyard, if you will. So, um, yeah, I must have rattled somebody's cage tonight on Facebook, social media. And matter of fact, I already see where my couple of my posts are um, have been swiped clean. So, yeah, they don't like my comments that I made, so they wiped the the comments clean off of social media. But I'm going to go back and repost them. And, and what I was talking about was an AA meeting at the train station in Flagstaff, Arizona. It was pre-established there long ago before um, before the booze industry moved into uh, corrupt Flagstaff, Arizona. Is that right, Carrie? How long was that AA meeting there for, Carrie? At least 40 years, 30, 40 years? Fifty years? Wow. Okay, so Carrie says maybe fifty years. So you know, when you're when you're in a town, okay, a small town um, that was uh, basically established by the natives, not the cowboys from corrupt Ohio, not the Babbitts. The natives were in Arizona before the Babbitts. Okay, folks, let's do the history right, please. Let's do the history right. The natives were there in Arizona before the Babbitts, before the corrupt cowboys got out there with the gold rush and all that bullshit, greediness, if you will. And then the bankers, the banksters funded them. So, and that's how they got their businesses started and all that happy horse shit. And then they built I-17 as um, as a result of the ba Babbitts political initiations and all that crap. So, but what I want to say is, how can, how can people shut down... The creators of the railroads are the ones that are to blame for all that corruptness. Yeah, the creators of the railroad is also to blame for um for all the corruptness, and it probably is going to link back to uh, to England and all that too, the, the monarchy and all that crap, Carrie. So that's all I can say. But what I want to say, and not only that, I want to speak about something else. Because hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders here from for, for GlobalPeace.com, but I've I've gone to enough meetings, twelve step meetings in Arizona. And I used to have a sponsor right out of, uh, help me God, out of Winslow, Arizona. Her husband manages the hotel over there um, in Winslow. 